scammers. Once you click on the link to play the activity, it's going to bring you here to code.org and you'll instantly see a video. Please play this video as it's instructional and it will help you play the game. Once you're finished watching the video, you're going to see this puzzle. You'll see some instructions around the screen. Hit run to try your program. This is the button that you're going to hit once you've solved your puzzle and you're ready to check if it's correct or not. The directions say, can you help me catch the naughty pig? Stack a couple of move forward blocks together and press run to help me get there. You can click OK once you're ready. Or if you'd like the directions read to you, over here in the, on the right hand corner, it's, it looks like a little book with a microphone. You can click on that and the directions can be read to you. Can aloud. you help me to catch the naughty pig? You also can click on this book where it says reading preferences and choose any language for the directions to be read to you. I'm going to go back to the puzzle. It says drag a move block and snap it below the other block. What I really want you to focus on is the sound of that click. Once you know, once they click together, you know that they are um, together to create a program. I need the angry bird to move one, two blocks to get to the pig. And we have one, two move forward blocks under the run, when run block. Let's hit run and check. One, two, and we've solved the puzzle. That means we would have written two lines of code. You can love or dislike, or you don't have to click either at all. Hit continue, move to the next puzzle. Follow these directions for every puzzle. When you get to number six, you're gonna have another video. This is gonna be Mark Zuckerberg teaching you repeat loops. Repeat loops are really important to learn about, so make sure you listen. And just so you know, the angry bird in this one needs to move one, two, three, four, five. So instead of dragging five move forward blocks, you will just click repeat five times, put the move forward, and that angry bird, I promise you, will now move five times without having to use five blocks. You're only going to actually be using two. When you get to puzzle number 11, um, just know that this is a repeat until, which means the angry bird is going to move and repeat until he gets to the pig. Take a look, one, two blocks, and then you're going to make a left, and this goes in a square. So if you repeat move forward, move forward, turn left, and you put it in the repeat until, you'll likely solve this puzzle. All right, last but not least, you're gonna go to puzzle number 18. This puzzle also has a video that you need to watch because it's gonna teach you about if-then statements and just a quick little uh, piece of information. You, you're gonna use this repeat until block to get to the acorn. This turns in, as you see, to Ice Age and you need to get Scrat, the squirrel, to the acorn. In this one, you're gonna be using the, not only the repeat until, but the if path ahead block. So if there's a path ahead, you want Scrat to move forward. But if there's not a path, for example, right here, there's nothing after that. So he needs to do something, which is going to be turn left. So in this case, if there's a path ahead, you want him to walk forward. If there's no more path, you want him to turn left because it's all left turns. I want you to try this. Finish two lesson or puzzle 20 if you can. Um, and I hope you have a blast. Remember, you can come back to this video at any time to help you if you need any assistance. Have fun.